Hello, this is Ashi from Crafty with Ashi and welcome to this video. This is a little project we're making today. Isn't it cute? It's this little bag and it has a magnetic closure. It opens up like that and then it just closes nicely. And then I've got a little piece here, Flirty Flamingo Ribbon. And there you go. So this, I did a different colourway. So this is Calypso Coral here with Flirty Flamingo Ribbon. This time I'm going to use just jade for a different colourway. And I've got a piece here of cardstock that measures 10.5 inches by 8 inches. Now on the long side we're going to score it 3 inches, um, 5 inches, 8 inches and 10. So that's 3, 5, 8 and 10. Turn it around. I'm going to score it 2 inches on either side. So 2 inches here. And then turn it around like this and two inches like that. Okay, so let's put the scoreboard away. Don't need it again. And then we can now fold on all of our score lines. So I'm just going to get my burn folder and burnish all of these lines. There we go. So I'm filming this video on the 15th of June, but I think it's going to go out towards the end of July. So today is going to be our first really warm day in Lincoln, 27 degrees. Um, it's not hot, just warm. And then of course tomorrow is going to pay us back and meant to be 19, so it's ridiculous. But I wanted to get this filmed in the morning, which is what I'm doing, because I film in my upstairs office and it's south facing, so come the afternoon the sun just pours in here and it's awful. So, well it's lovely but it's not great for filming, you just, it's too hot. Because you've got all the lights on to film, so you've got seven lights on to film, plus the sun and um, pouring in and it's just way too much. So now be telling you what I'm doing. On the one side, it doesn't really matter which one because they're all the same at the moment, we're going to cut up to the score line. So you saw me cut up the score line and here on the half inch side you're going to cut away that little piece like that. So let's cut up to the score line. And then cut up to the score line. Just like that. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put down our adhesive now because then it's easy for us to work out which is our back and our front and we make sure we don't make a, a boo-boo. Okay, so that's for our side and I can see here I've not cut this little piece out which I need to. So if our box comes together like that, there's the back. This is going to be the front here this big tab here. So we're going to put some adhesive here. Just like that. And we're going to burn a shower adhesive because that helps it stick because it's pressure adhesive. Now we need to cut some more stuff away but I'm going to show you how you figure out which bits to cut. If you're seam is at the back here. This has got your adhesive for the front. So this piece at the back is always going to fold over. So this piece is fine. We're going to cut away all of this here. So where's the pencil? Sorry I stopped the recording because there's quite a bit of noise outside and I've got the window open so I didn't want you to hear all of that. So as I said we're going to cut away all of this piece here and I'll show it to you rather with my pencil and then you can see. And I cut away all of that piece, that section. So from here up to the score line, all of that. So let's do that. And I've got my nice long scissors here. It makes this much easier. Just like that. Okay, so <clears throat> this is what we've got now. 
So I'm going to put our designer series paper on before we assemble everything because it'll just be easier. The designer series paper we're going to use is called Sweet Symmetry and I've got here all my pieces cut already. So these two pieces are cut to let's see three and three quarters by two and three quarter centimeters I mean inches rather and I'm just going to put them down see there's just jade is this color and calypso coral is that so we will do one in each and we can see which we like the best I have a feeling I know which one I'm going to like better <laughs> you can tell me Ugh, my snail is playing up today. There we go. Okay, and so I've got a piece for the front and a piece for the back. Okay, so remember this is our back. This is our front. Now I've just made a boo boo because I'm really stupid, but it's really easy. We forgot to put our magnet down. You should have reminded me. Okay, here is our magnets. They're just little. Neodyme Earth Magnets and we're going to put this down and you know what I'm going to actually change my mind because of course you're going to I'm going to leave this undone but I'm actually going to make up my box and you'll see why in a minute so let's take our adhesive off and fold our box up. Yeah, it's exactly what I didn't want to do was to stick to my, you know, I'm going to take it all off. Not the end of the world. No one will never know except you and me that I made a baby. I'm going to fold up our box like that, our bag. Okay. And fold in our sides, fold in the base, take all this tape off, ugh, put all tape off you come, fold that in, and then all I'm going to use is my bone folder at the bottom here just to make things sure things are stuck properly, and then all I'm going to do here at the sides is just pinch it in a little bit, and then just massage it here into position like this and it's going to fold over like this and this is why I wanted to put the magnets on all now rather so I can get them in exactly the right position so I'm going to put this one here and then we're going to take our other one Make sure we put it in the right direction. And then we're just going to fold this over straight and give it a bit of a press down. And now we can press it into place, press it into place. Now we know they're in the right position. So now we can take the tape off. Do we have any extra? mess. We'll let it stick to you, why not? I'm going to put a little bit more tape down where I ripped it up and then I'm just going to put this back and use my bone folder again on the inside. Give it a good press down. See, and no one's the wiser to you, to our boo-boos. So now I've got small little pieces for the lid. And this measures two and three quarter inches by one and three quarter inches. And I'm going to put some here on the inside to cover up our, our magnet. And then I'm going to put one here on the outside as well. And to make this, all I did was cut a strip of the designer series paper actually at um, two and three quarter inches and one strip of two and three quarters by twelve inches. 
was enough to this is not straight was enough to actually do the whole was enough to do the whole box which is great so there you go that's what we've got so far okay so let's put this aside we'll do some stamping where's my bits stamps that we're going to use is this one called best year and we're going to use this thing that says wishing you the best year yet last time i stamped in clips of coral this time i'm going to do just jade and i've got a piece here of the design of basic white i'm just going to stamp Just like that. Close this up. Put that away. Bring in. I've got a scrap here of just jade, and this is the tailored tag punch. Or, yeah, tailored tag. I'm going to punch one of those out. Oops. And then we're going to punch one of these out. It fits just perfectly. like that. So close that up. Whoopsie daisy. Come here. Put that aside. And then we're going to cut this one in half. Just like that. And then I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow. Which wants to come out that is. On the back. And then we're just going to layer this up as best as we want. Just like that. Okay. And then on the front, I'm going to put some rhinestones. I'm going to put one here on the wishing. A dot and another one just there like that let's get rid of that and then on the back I'm going to put some dimensionals just like that so that's ready to go bring back our box now last time I used some Calypso Coral, I mean Flirty Flamingo Ribbons, let me show you. This was the ribbon I used last time. Then I'm going to use some of this today. And this is a Just Jade Ribbon and we're going to attempt to tie a bow around all of this, which will be interesting to say the least. Um, I, only, I love this ribbon, I only write with it, it does seem to fray a little bit though. If that's the look you're going for, then it's great because, you know, sometimes it's quite nice to have pieces of frayed ribbon. It gives a very vintage, um, shabby chic look, which is very popular. So let's see if we can leave this up a bit, if it's at all possible. I'm not quite sure it is. Anyway, we'll deal with that off the camera. We're just going to cut the tails off now. We'll need that up later. That's what we have. And then we're going to take the backings off here. I think I've got them all off and then we're just going to pop this at the base there and we're done. Clear the decks. Those are the two projects. I hope you liked them. If you did I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube know and please don't forget to subscribe to future videos. In the comments let me know which do you like better the green, just jade or the clips of coral. Jade or coral, jade or coral. Let me know. Love to know your opinions and thoughts so please do share them. 
Um, if you want for more information about the project, the um, supply list, the measurements, all that good stuff, it'll be on the blog post on my website, and the links to that and all my social media links are in the description box below. That includes a link to my Facebook group where we all chat and share crafties um, projects. I also host a monthly car club and kit club and various classes in the group, so do come and check us out. So thank you again, and until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye.